be they were the strawberry cold. shortcake dude that is mine those are the best when i was a kid yeah the strawberry shortcake fucking those were those were fire straight up for one of my birthdays i think it was uh, like 14 or 15 instead of having a cake everybody just got a strawberry shortcake ice cream bar <laughs> i did that with twinkies ones and they were so gross. It was my first time having a Twinkie, and I tried one, and I was like, this is what you it is. You had Twinkies? <laughs> I made, like, a Twinkie cake. <laughs> You're trash. Fuck you, bro. I was like, I can't. <laughs> You're like, Mom, I want a Twinkie cake. You're stuck inside, and you're going nutty. So grab some wine and call up a buddy. It's Buddy Chat. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Well, how are you, buddy? Thanks for fe being my first buddy on the chat. You know, I feel like in a lot of ways, you were like my first buddy in this, <laughs> ever. No, in this like most recent chapter, you know? I think of freshman year and I just think of, I feel like that is the year you meet so many people and you don't oh, yeah. like really remember it. And I just think of like how many people remember you and in what certain way. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Cause I have like yeah. one or two like snippet memories of so many people, like just from freshman year. Cause you would go mm -hmm. out with like whoever and just be like, woohoo, like, okay. Oh, freshman year. We we learned so Don't much. Even need to delve into that. This will be a moment of appreciation for uh, our hamster Piper, who probably is dead by now. Definitely, probably dead. Yeah. Remember when you had a bunny for like a month? For like, yeah, for like a month straight up. Evan just texted me, should we get a bunny? And he like sent me the Facebook thing and it was like $60 for a mini bunny. It was supposed to be a mini classic fucking rookie mistake. Yeah, that was a full bunny. Continuing to grow. Like this is a, b and we've seen pictures since. Like this bunny is fucking big, like huge. And we thought it was going to be like a teeny little bunny. Regardless, that's not an excuse. But yeah, we had it for like a month and then I think his cousin, like one of his like little baby cousins got it. That was just a classic living with Evan Petro moment though. It's just coming home and there was something in the apartment, whether or not it was a bunny or a giant six foot skull that sat on our living room counter for the entirety of the time that we lived there. <laughs> so many Martha Stewart books, like you know. Oh my like, God, <laughs> for like living room table books that Nobody read and because nobody had a dusty living room. Never touched. Nobody touched our goddamn living room. It was so fucking dusty. Uh, it was so dusty. Why was it so dusty? Dude, here's the thing. It's because we could, the only option to get that apartment that we wanted so bad, and it was like the fucking worst apartment was to get it with furniture so it came with like weird like you know like weird cheap like i don't even know like almost like that plasticky like material furniture and it would just like you could see the dust like on the couch because nobody sat it felt, it felt like, like you were like, living in a hotel like it felt like not a home an extremely dusty one <laughs> <laughs> and then and then we had a a random roommate who decorated our house by taping lays to the wall. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like we can't, like, open I'm, I'm not saying, saying who. She listens to this. She won't. If you're out there, thank you for giving me free wheat brownies and for braiding my hair that one time. <laughs> We got some contenido. What is it? Con contadino. <laughs> I, I believe this was a total of $5.99 from Trader Joe's. Oh, I bought a wine opener as if this was gonna have a cork. Dude, I can't open this. <laughs> I also can't open mine. Oh, hold on. I got it. Yay! <laughs> Woo! Well, okay. cheers, bye buddy. Cheers. Oh, and cheers to you.
So we have the Contadino Pinot Grigio. It's a white wine from Trader Joe's and it is enjoyed whilst young. I get this like every time I shop at Pinot Joe's. Let's see. Oh, it's nice. It kind of tastes like nothing. It's just kind of sour. It's sour, it's dry, it's white. <laughs> just like you. <laughs> sour, dry, and white. <laughs> and it smells like wine. Contenindo. Dude, in the middle of the night, I wake up and I'm like, what is that noise? It's like a whistling noise. It's like a high pitch whistle and then a low pitch whistle, then a high pitch whistle, a low pitch whistle. Like Snow White and the Seven Doors. Dude, and my <laughs> my sleepover buddy was like whistling through their nose and then whistling through their mouth, like in their sleep. And it was the weirdest. I had never heard that. And I was fucking like, I didn't even know what to do. I just like laughed and I was like, hey buddy. <laughs> It's like, He's like in like, whistle out whistle in whistle out whistle. <laughs> yes, it was like that. Dude, never forget that was the only time that I ever I like I like initiated a kiss that was not returned. Have you ever had that happen? It is horrible. I have I have not I have not Okay, a it is not the same. Rejecting a kiss is one thing. Kissing someone it's and having them no matter what. Ah, oh, dude, okay, yes, but literally the fact that I went in and like you know before you get there that it's not going to be returned, but it's like too far to be like pulling back. You know what I mean? So you get I really was like a bit away and it was a moment of like I either have to finish this or like awkwardly back up. So it was just like a friendly peck and <laughs> just sit back down. I was like, <sighs> You're like, oh, dang it. <laughs> it was just so unexpected. Like I would obviously never have done that if I didn't think it was reciprocated. So the fact that it wasn't was like, shocking like it really i was getting every signal that it was not going to go that way so then like when that happened it was like a moment of like <sighs> like your whole body is like oh my god and i was literally dude okay this is so funny my cousin sarah she always texts in full like what's the what's the word punctuation like to the key. So <laughs> like formal email. Door, period. Yes. And so like for a long time when I first started, we started like texting and be like, bro, like, are you mad? Like she would text something, she'd be like, no, period. Yes, period. I'm like, like, is everything okay? I but love it's so that. so Sarah, like if you know Sarah, like that's right. so her, like she would never, even in texting, like go against grammar rules. My favorite memory of Sarah was when she snuck an entire bag of like a boxed wine bag into Electric Forest with, with her, her big shirt. ass shirt. And, and she, she just looked, looked like a little chunky girl. Like no one questioned it, but she had this big bag just, was it taped to her? I was, it was duct taped to her body. <laughs> no I shame, got. no shame. And the best part is like, dude, I feel like at Forest it was so funny because like people would sneak their shit through and then just like rip it off their body. Like as they're walking in, like did it. But it's like everybody around is like, we know. If you made like, it through, if you win, you win. If you made it, you made it. Like That being said, when we snuck into the VIP of North Coast, I was nervous the whole night that someone was going to see our our wristbandless arm and rip no, us out gained, of the crowd. Do you remember, dude, it was like by chance that you were wearing those little gloves, like those little gloves. And so you oh, put one over yeah. your hand and you gave me the other one to put to like cover our wristband to be like, oh, like, yeah, I was wearing like sleeveless you. gloves or something. Yeah, yeah, that worked out. And, and the best part about that is that was like, it was two days, right? The first day was magical. The second day was a complete bust, like complete you bust. You don't remember, but I, like, that's not what I yes. remember. I remember that trip in like the, as one of the best weekends of my life like with it in such high regards even though half of it 
Ooh, was I feel like we always do that though. We always do that shit. That's it's true. like you see the chronically good thing. And you're like, oh. And then you look back at something like, I don't know, like you look back at like your journal and you're like, oh my God. <laughs> like it was not a good time. But I remember it yeah. as being like a fun, it was just fun. I feel like I did we did that a lot because yeah, that's I feel true. like our highs were so high because like we just did fun shit. Like it was always fun. And it was good to yeah, I don't know. That's what sticks around. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think of this day. I, mean, I don't do either. You remember after we like acknowledged that it was a bus and we were like standing outside of the bathroom and it was pouring rain and we're standing outside of the bathroom, we're freezing and we're waiting for the Uber <laughs> and these boys just start fucking like there's a there was like rain dripping down. So it was like a little bit of a beat. And like these boys just start like banging on this like concrete bathroom hut like making a song and we're just like hysterically laughing in like pretty much in the bathroom just like freezing pouring rain <laughs> oh i do remember this outside of the venue yes. outside of the venue yeah, 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 waiting yeah, yeah, yeah. For and we're just like yeah. we can't believe it has taken like such a such a turn like and then the point <laughs> i remember we're, like, we're gonna go out tonight we're gonna go out tonight slept oh god it was bad so bad. What do you listen to right now? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I actually do have a fucking great song. Dude, I think I sent you it. You probably didn't listen to it. Fucking typical. Okay, wait, is this bad if I hold it up to the microphone? Better Man by Alice Ivy. Alright, everybody look it up. I'm gonna save it like Nice, thanks for the tunes, buddy. I feel like you turned me on to a lot of good music. I'm grateful for that. Dude, did you have friends who for their birthday they went to McDonald's? And it was like the birthday party was at McDonald's and you went and you played in the play structure? Because no. that is a thing in the Midwest. It, isn't that fucking the most like American shit you've ever heard? You have a birthday party in a public McDonald's. I mean, there's restaurant. a ball pit there. Like, I get it. No, there's not. There's like a shitty, like, gross little, like, whatever play structure. Is there not a ball pit at McDonald's? I guess there's not a ball pit at McDonald's. I'm like thinking of Chuck E. Cheese's, I think. Chuck E. Cheese Land or whatever the fuck it's called. I had a friend in high school whose little brother, they told him that he could go anywhere he wanted for his birthday dinner, and he chose IKEA. <laughs> And they have pretty good food, though. Yeah, they do. Like, they do. And they have good meatballs. Like, they... Right. Like, I totally respect it. But of all the places you could choose, he's like, you know where I want to go? Ikea. Like, that's a move. Because I feel like when your parents normally ask you where you want to go out to eat, like, and you say Ikea, they're going to be like, nah. But for your birthday, they have to say yes. So, like... Sidebar. Lauren studied sustainability, so... She's an expert in the field. What, no, what I'm are, not an expert. <laughs> what are three easy ways that your average person could be slightly more sustainable? Yeah. Or kind of I make steps like, in that direction? Yeah. Um, I think the first thing, I feel like everybody already does this, but like reusable water bottle. We don't have to count that one. Reusable fucking baggies. I use so many Ziploc bags. I know because it's so easy when you like don't see it. It just like you do, you use it once, it goes in the trash, it doesn't matter. Um, and kind of on the same vein is like beeswax wrap. It's it's essentially like a tin foil or an alumina or um like a plastic wrap. Yeah, and I would just like put it like straight up, like I cut an onion and I would like put it on the other half of the onion, like that kind of thing. And it was so, it was just so convenient because then you don't have to put it in a fucking Tupperware and then clean the Tupperware. <laughs> um, and then honestly, my last thing, I feel like just to be real, like I use paper towels still. Like I, I just, I like, being able to wipe shit up and then just throw it away. But what I've been doing to like try and be a bit more like conscious about it is like I only get a two pack 
roll and then I like really try and be conscious about like how far I'm stretching. I blaze through paper towels. I know, dude, but that's the thing. And like, sometimes it's nice to like, put, at least just push yourself to be conscious. Like, I feel like that mm -hmm. is what sustainability is about, is like pushing yourself to be conscious about what you're doing and like your habits and then just tweaking them, like just slightly. Cause mm -hmm. dude, if you like try and just turn, like be totally sustainable, like from one day to the next day and change everything, like it's not gonna fucking work. Like it's not gonna stick. It's going right. to feel inconvenient and annoying. So I don't know. I feel like small changes go a long way because it's not that hard to fucking implement it into your life. Well, buddy, thanks for being my first guest. I appreciate I know, you fun. coming on the show, chatting with me. Honored to be the first of the many. Yeah. And all jokes aside, I am forever grateful for you as my buddy and I I'm like so proud of the person that you're becoming and I just am grateful to have you in my life. Aw, oh, buddy, I feel the same. That was cute. <laughs> I for real, I mean it. All okay. right. Shall we cheers it out? Let's, Let's cheers it out. Cheers to friendship. Cheers to buddies. To buddy chat. To many more buddies and to staying sane through this fucking pandemic. Cheers to that. Good night.